97% of people are in the process of adopting BIM. 18% of you said that you're not yet on the journey and 5% have not yet heard of BIM. So I'm really hoping that we can help um, answer some of your questions. It's about that common sharing of information because that will help us to drive efficiencies. We now have the ability to sit down and get it right in terms of the process of end-to-end -end build from design inception to asset management. What's the importance of BIM to our business? Well, we came up with seven top answers really. It's faster, more efficient design and construction process, smarter decision making and greater control, foresight and certainty, resource efficiency, lower costs, higher profits, improved team working and fosters innovation. I think that drives our business forward. BIM is important to our business because we need to maximise the quality that we deliver and minimise the risk that we're exposed to and effective management of the information enables us to do that. We want to drive our business forward and be professional and uh, comply with all the requirements so it was the drive throughout the business. BIM is a conduit for sharing information in a structured and efficient way. And so using the standards that we're here to talk about today, we, we exchange information better. The, the two things I have in my head today is one, demonstrating our capability in this rich information world uh, and also how we manage our supply chain. Fundamentally what BIM is about is much more about information than it is about 3D CAD for us. What we find is actually our clients don't want any longer the boxes of paper that we try to bring together as quickly as possible at the end of a project. They want to concentrate on the operational phase of the facility or the whatever we've constructed for them. So that when we come back and start digging up the, uh, up the hole again, we won't strike the cable or dig up the gas pipe because we know exactly where we put it because we've captured that information as we've gone along. BIM has a collaborative approach ensuring that we've got the right information to the right people at the right time. Well, BIM is important to Skanska because our parent company has mandated it. The UK government has mandated it and increasingly our, our private clients uh, are asking for something different, they're asking for a digital handover. Do you want to build a government building or undertake a piece of government uh, design and build for an infrastructure uh, such as a railway or maybe in high speed too, you should be using this approach. BIM gives us massive benefit in terms of the process, the reduction in capex costs. BSI was conceived out of industry problems to do with assurance, to do with lack of standards. So what we've been doing ever since 1901 is effectively the same thing. We've been working collaboratively with industry to shape solutions through standards to help with consistency of products and also through providing assurance that the standards are being complied with through uh, BSI product uh, certification. But through all of that it's all around collaboration which is particularly appropriate to BIM when you think about Aside the technology, what BIM is really about, which is about collaboration. What does it mean for our supply chain? Well, at the moment, we're still in the mindset that we're here to help them. You know, come and join us. One of the biggest challenges we hear time and time again, not just in the UK, but also everywhere I've travelled really talking about BIM over the last few months, is in this challenge here around supply chain partners. The challenge is upon ensuring how ready specialist contractors are in being able to demonstrate that they have the processes in place to collectively work with the main contract to deliver projects successfully using BIM. One of the things that's been quite useful through the process is how effective BSI Verified can be in helping with supply chain management. Indeed, actually, this just represents a natural step on from a large area we're involved with where we have a number of products that help with supply chain management. So a really important point. We try to build training courses based on the whole journey that we put it forward. So we try to say which of those courses are important for who. What we wanted from today was to, to set out the humble beginnings of BIM, to explain in enough detail as to what it truly is, what it means and the benefits it brings. So next year should be really exciting as we see the award of the next wave of uh, certification products including KiteMark and also looking at uh, certification solutions for facilities management.